Hi everybody and welcome to Wednesday at the shop. Um, I'm looking forward to getting today done and dusted because today is also mine and Rebecca's like date night or quality time together so I'm looking forward to hopefully doing something nice this evening uh, maybe go out for a meal or something and um, I just want to get the work day done and dusted I'm not expecting great things Wednesday like I said um, or we've mentioned before is a half day in the shop um, sorry it's like a half day in town almost it's, it's traditionally like a half day for some reason so I'm not expecting a great deal we are open from 10 till 4 on a Wednesday so um, it is shorter hours uh, which is a nice break um, and you know it, it gives us a bit of time <laughs> gives us a bit of time together but I am hoping we will at least see some sales happen in the shop if not I'm just going to keep on concentrating on eBay I've got some more stuff to list and some more stuff to ship only a handful of items going out but still something's better than nothing uh, we have got this uh, star scream figure which is a reaction figure from super 7 i believe so they do these kind of transformers but the funny thing is these don't actually transform which is kind of sad uh, but that sold uh it sold this mothra figure um from godzilla uh so that sold nice little action figure sale this was a bit of retail arbitrage i actually paid uh, i think 20 odd pounds for this and i sent out an offer of 60 pounds and it got sold a uh, nacon qwerty layout keyboard mechanical type gaming keyboard so really happy with that little sale and finally uh, this is a set of axe cop figures you've got the avocado soldier axe cop himself and dr doo um that set of three um went out to liam who contacted me um on our facebook page and i sorted a deal out for him so super stuff to give you guys a bit of an update it's now about 20 to midday 20 minutes to midday that is and um it's been again quiet in the shop we have had one customer in however they did do a little bit of uh, christmas shopping and there's plenty more to come because I've got a lot of gifts to buy and I came in buying a couple of stocking fillers and then they're going to go and get some more information because they were a little bit I suppose overwhelmed with the choice um, this if you it can be difficult enough if you're into this stuff to choose what you want or what to buy for someone even if you're into this stuff yourself but when you're not into this stuff sometimes I look at around the shop and I think this would be quite overwhelming because the amount of variety, it would be almost impossible. Like even if you knew, for example, a lot of people know that their sons, daughters, nephews, nieces, etc. love Marvel. They just love Marvel. But then when you're actually presented with the choice of um, characters and the, the different universes um, and the, you know all the different options available do you get them a Deadpool uh, mug do you get them a Deadpool figure do you get them uh, I don't know like a, a Spider-Man framed print an Iron Man poster do you get them a Marvel Legends figure which Marvel you know Marvel Legends Marvel Select um, do you get them Funko Pops do you, what what do you go for there's so much variety within each part of it it can be it can be overwhelming you know just to make that decision decision so um in that way i'm kind of glad that we do have a website because we can always say to people hey you know take a look at the website you can always click and collect or get it delivered you can maybe show it to people get a rough idea of what they may be interested in and obviously we offer the gift vouchers as well however i gift vouchers aren't for everybody because i know for example with our girls our girls would rather us suffer as parents not suffer but you know what i mean they'd they'd much rather we make a decision and buy them something um rather than just get a voucher and I, I, you know that's that's fine because i kind of feel that way as well gift vouchers are cool but i'd much prefer to be able to choose a gift for someone than just to get them a voucher personally um and and plus in terms of if i was receiving a gift i think i'd be happier receiving a gift even if it wasn't quite what i want, wanted um i think i'd probably still prefer that over just getting a gift voucher because it just i don't know it just shows that someone's made the effort at least to try to find something but i see the value in gift vouchers of course i've been speaking to rebecca having a little chat with her and i'm really looking forward to going out this afternoon i will probably go and grab a bite to eat have a look around some shops and just chill out it should be quite cool um I had a few weird queries on eBay, just like weird ones like uh, we're selling a used um, uh, secondhand Harry Potter broom, like a Nimbus 2000, 
and had a question about whether it had fiber optic bristles or not and I was I looked it over just to make sure I hadn't missed something like that because you know sometimes you list stuff and it's really easy to kind of overlook bits and it made me just question myself like, hold on a second did I just miss out the fact that this broom this this um Harry Potter broom might have fiber optics on it it doesn't it's fine I replied to that customer dealt with that had some really exciting pre-order news come through as well um it's all over the internet and i'm i'm going to be doing this as well NECA, the company that's behind all of these really nice kind of figures like this um, example really nice frankenstein in black and white they do a whole range of seven inch action figures and they have just released photos yesterday of the new robocop figures and man alive they've gotten the likeness rights for the actor as well so they've got him without his helmet and there's two variations there's going to be a NECA ultimate figure like that and they're even doing like a more deluxe figure which will come with hit battle damage and his chair and all his computers to 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 um look at his different statuses and whatever you know all his monitoring gear as well and i'm really excited unfortunately it's not due out till June, so it's a long time to wait, but it's still really exciting and I can't wait to get that in the shop. Um, and it's actually prompted me to look into doing something which we haven't done yet. And that is namely um, pre-orders. We don't take pre-orders on our website, we don't have it set up. Uh, but I've looked into uh, the relevant plugin for the WooCommerce website. So going forward, we are going to be able to start taking pre-orders because I feel like with a lot of this new stuff that comes out, fans are going to be Googling where they can get it from, where they can put their pre-orders in. And that's how a lot of people are going to discover your website. And it's something we're missing out on. We don't have to do huge numbers of pre-orders. Um, we can just keep them... Uh, within what we feel is a manageable amount um, but it's definitely something that should happen because I, my worry is always like because we're small what if our allocation gets chopped and we take pre-orders so I think what I'm going to do is take limited pre-orders like limited amounts uh, to the point where I know I'll be able to fulfill them uh, come hook or crook I shouldn't have any issues uh, but it's something I think um, I should have. I think in the past I've also felt awkward about them because I'm like, for example, these figures are not out until June. That's a long way away. I'm like, wow, that's, you know, people people do pre-order this stuff. And they, they will pay full up front and then they will just wait for their goods. Um, I just think that's a bit weird. I think I feel, I've, I like the transaction to be complete. Um, but I also have to realise that in this particular field, pre-orders are, you know, it's part of the hype, it's part of the fun, I suppose. Uh, so it's something I'm going to start doing on a, uh, first anyway, a, a limited amount. And then we can always look at in, increasing it and getting more into it if it seems to be a, a good thing for us. So that's something that I've been working on. I've just gotten the um, plug-in. I'm going to have a little mess around and um, see if we're going to start putting some pre-orders up on the website. How cool is that? Me again. Um, just had some news from one of my wholesalers regarding the Squid Games dump bin that I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, still hasn't turned up and unfortunately the carrier cannot locate the the parcel. So I've got no, um, no dump bin. So what they've done is they've credited me the amount for the posters and dump bin. Um, and they're going to look to get them sent out to me as quickly as possible. God knows when that is or if that will happen because obviously they've credited the account now, so I don't think they're going to just send me out a whole bunch of posters. If they do, that would be really cool, <laughs> but I'm not expecting it, I suppose, is what I'm saying. But it's a real shame because we've got literally zero Squid Game stuff. Well, um, the shop has continued to be quiet, but that's fine because I have been having a lot of fun um, trying to record a review or my impressions of that Harley Quinn figure. It's not as easy as it seems. I feel like I'm out of practice of it. So it took me a few tries to try to record something usable. Uh, but that's actually a lot of fun and I can see myself doing that quite often, especially when it's quiet. Why not make some content, some um, product reviews? It's only going to benefit uh, the business because it's going to promote what I'm selling. And at the same time, I get to review really cool things. So it's kind of like a win-win. Um, I'm just having a cup of coffee now. It's nearly two o'clock. 
it's crickets. But like I said, and I've said, and I keep repeating myself, Wednesday it's weird here. It's just a weird day. Um, I'm lucky that I remembered also to pick up the pet food for the cat and the dog because the pet shop closes early as well. So I'm glad I got that sorted out of the way. Yeah, it's not really much happening shop-wise, guys. Um, it's great to have all this stuff, but if there's no one coming in, not much going on. Um, I have had a couple of eBay sales though, so that's good. Um, that's keeping me busy, just doing the bit of packing as soon as the orders come in, get, getting those sorted. But I think I might even do another product review. Who knows? All right, guys, it's um, a little bit later on. <laughs> um, I obviously shut the shop up. It mm -hmm. was a quiet end to the day, but as you can see, I'm now here with my lovely wife, and we've just come out of Starbucks, haven't we? Hello. What did you have, honey? Eggnog latte. I am meant to say the other bit. Eggnog latte, yep. Yeah. Gone. And a, and a Christmas tree brownie. Chris, she had a Christmas tree brownie, and I had a blueberry muffin. I always go for blueberry muffin, okay. it, it, and they do the nice jam inside. Mm -hmm. Um, and the eggnog latte was just, it was just really brilliant. Good. Yeah, it was brilliant. We're now going to go off to Hobbycraft because Beck wants to get some wool, don't you, honey? Yeah, because I haven't got yeah. enough. Yeah, she hasn't got enough wool. She's got loads of wool. She really does. Um, so we're going to get some wool and then we might take a little... It's actually for some Christmas gift, you know, knitting. She's trying to justify it. Okay, it's fine. She's going to knit some more Christmas gifts. Um, and then we're probably going to check out and see whether we can find a McDonald's, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, um, it's about 10 to 9 and we've just gotten home from our evening out. It was a lot of fun, lots of food. Uh, we had some eggnog latte at Starbucks as well. I uh, enjoyed ourselves, walked around a few shops, spent some time together. And now I'm going to sit down and edit this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. And um, we'll see you guys, both of us will be in the shop tomorrow for Thursday, market day. So hopefully we'll have a, a good vlog for you tomorrow. And you guys can um, let us know what you think of it, I suppose. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.